I don't believe there's any point in having IVF upon IVF cycles when it's not working and still not asking um, questions. There must be a reason why uh, IVF failures occur, particularly when they do so re repeatedly. Pregnancy is the only time in human body when something foreign comes into the body and is not rejected. We have one of the most robust immune systems in the entire animal kingdom designed to keep everything at bay. Yet in pregnancy, a baby has to stay in the mother's uh, body for about nine months. That's completely contrary to the design of the immune system. So for a successful pregnancy, the woman's immune system must allow it to occur. That embryo must escape the normal immune surveillance. If the woman's immune system ever identifies the embryo as foreign, make no mistake about it, only one thing will happen, and that is that the immune system will begin to fight the, the, the embryo. So what we do is to see whether there's any problem with this system. If, if anything goes wrong with this system, immune system of immune tolerance, then of course it can affect the entire process. So what we do is to do tests. We have two levels of tests, levels one and level two, to find out whether there's any reason we can identify, any treatable reason for recurrent implantation failure and recurrent miscarriage. The psychological impact of IVF failure or even miscarriage is huge. At our clinic, it's very important that we get it right as soon as possible. And to do that, you have to look at a couple and try to individualize their treatment. In my 30 years of IVF, it's been my dream to offer anything that's possible for the patient to optimize the outcome. And that's what we offer here at Zizan West Clinic. Some people benefit from hypnotherapy, some people benefit from acupuncture, and a few other things. Micronutrition, absolutely very, very important. And we're very lucky that we have it under one roof. Also lucky that it's given us the most fantastic results.